Okay, this is uh, number four from page 121, and um, it's going to be a system that we want to solve. So on your calculator, um, this is why you're going to use a CAS. As you want to solve, uh, you can actually just use solve. I'm going to do solve system of equations. Um, and there are three, and it's going to use x, y, and z. So the first one is x plus y equals 2. Uh, the second one is y plus plus z equals 5, and then the third one is x plus y plus z equals 10. Uh, it's going to solve for x, y, z. Um, y is negative 3. That is option A, um, so we're done with that problem. Uh, so what I want you to do on your calculator is every time you start a new problem on this uh, test is you're going to um, do doc and then insert a new problem. So you're always going to be working a new problem. That way if you define a function or uh, anything like that. Um, it'll only be in that particular thing. So that's what we want to do. Um, so I'm going to move on and I'm actually going to do, uh, I'm gonna, let's see, insert a comment here. I'm going to do number five on page 122. Okay, so that's the problem that we're doing. And this one, we're told two functions. We're told f of x and then, so I'm going to set equal, so colon equals, which is control, and then the templates, colon equals, three, natural log of x, um, natural log of x is above e to the x, natural log of x, and then minus one, and then g of x is going to be equal to, uh, sorry, colon equals, and again, you can do this without a calculator, um, and that's fine. Um, I just want you to get really good at using a calculator um, so that you can, whoops, so I'm going to do, Control, yeah, what am I doing? Uh, I did just want e to the x. e to the x um, is that. And then I need to find f of g of 5, which is 14, which is option C. Um, okay, so the reason that I did that on the calculator is just to show you, I mean, you're doing a function that's inverse, so they just actually collapse down. Um, but anyway, uh, the calculator is useful, and you should know how to do this. Uh, so we're going to do a new problem. So we're going to do the doc key, we're going to insert, and then this, and then calculator page, and then you don't need to do this, but I'm going to do this just to keep things clear. So this will be uh, number 7 on page 122. Okay, so this one, uh, there's actually a picture in the book. Um, so we have 84.1 degrees is an angle on the side opposite that is 12, and I want the side adjacent. Um, so that's basically, I know the tangent of 84.1 is uh, 12 over x is kind of what I know from the picture. Uh, but there's an issue here. So I'm in radians. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, click doc, and then 7, and then document settings, and then change to degrees. So a tangent of 84.1 degrees is x over 12. Um, and then that means that uh, x is equal to 12 over the tangent of 84.1. Um, and then y is equal to, so y is uh, another angle, and it's also opposite that side. So it's going to be this, uh, 62.7. And then what I really want to do is I just want to add these two answers together. So um, there's kind of a number of ways you can do that. Uh, I'm going to do this. Uh, actually, I don't know what it's going to do here. It's probably going to be an error. Yeah. Um, let's delete that and delete that. And add those together. I get 7.43, um, which is option C. Uh, so let's move on and do another problem. So remember, it's doc for one is going to give you a new problem. So uh, no functions are defined. I'm going to actually do number eight, even though that's totally a problem that you could have done by hand. Number eight on page 123. Okay, so in this one, I'm told that um, x is equal to, so x and then set equal to, generally speaking, I try to avoid, um, so square root is actually a button for you. Uh, it's control and then this x squared. I try to avoid defining x, but in this problem, they did it. And since I'm starting a new problem every time, it doesn't really matter, so that's x. And the question is, what's x squared? Uh, so that's 81. Um, which is option D. So that's what I would have selected. Uh, let's do another one. So this is probably the last one in this video. Um, so it's doc for one, and then I'm going to do a calculator again. Uh, so this problem is going to be number 
We'll do number nine. Ooh, number nine on page 123. Okay, so uh, you're told a point is x, y, and then you want to find the distance. So uh, the distance from the origin. So that's going to be a square root of x squared plus y squared. Um, so that's equal to d uh, in this problem. Um, and then your new point is uh, 2x. So, so 2x squared plus 2y squared is the distance from that point to the origin. Um, so that's obviously just going to be 2 times d. So that's option d. Um, all right, so I'm going to stop this video here, and I will pick up in another video, and I hope you found this helpful. Good luck.